Bible together with me to First Chronicles chapter 21, wherever you are. First yeah. Chronicles 21. Verse 1 said, Set us to stood up against Israel, provoke David to number Israel. Satan se leva contre Israël. Il incita David à faire le dénombrement d'Israël. Et David dit à Joab et au chef du peuple, « Allez, faites le dénombrement d'Israël depuis Bercheba jusqu'à Dan et rapportez-le-moi afin que je sache à combien il s'élève. » Joab répondit que l'Éternel rende son peuple cent fois plus nombreux. « Ô roi, mon Seigneur !» Ne sont-ils pas tous serviteurs de mon Seigneur Mais pourquoi mon Seigneur demande-t-il cela Pourquoi faire ainsi pécher Israël Le roi persista dans l'ordre qu'il donnait à Joab. Et Joab partit et parcourut tout Israël. Puis il revint à Jérusalem. Thank you. Merci. Look up. Quand tu dit, pas bon. We are speaking on the topic. What Transgression, what sin is in counting? Nous allons parler du thème qui dit quel est le péché du dénombrement. Mia pour nous courir tanya et que globena arlen tu quoi de nous font kaiyonya? What is the sin? Nous kaiyonya nous font le nom mama. What is wrong in counting the people? Nous kaiyonya nous font le amour le chlema. Before we answer that question. Let's begin with the first phrase. That Satan stood up against Israel. And provoked David. David. To number Israel. Oh, Israel. Now, Satan was looking or searching for an opportunity to afflict. To kill and to destroy some people in Israel. Satan no mono popo zim bena yatso ha ha ble vevesses aye yawu amiado le Israel ni pandi. I start, so let me begin with this word. Ma ate come ble enyaya. Any way or in any way Satan is looking for way, means to kill you, to destroy you. May he not see that way in Jesus' name. Afisi, afisi, Satan le di mo le nti o lebe ya wu ya kple to me ya. E mo ma me ka zeni o le yesu kriso pa koma. Satan was searching for an opportunity. Satan an omo no popo zim. Each time Satan want to attack somebody, a child of God. Yes, ya ina Satan a di be ya hode ma o videnti ya. He search for opportunity. E di na omo no popo. Not only a child of God. Each time you hear somebody die. Death. Always search for opportunities. To kill the person. He search for privilege. And anything available. Maybe electric chalk. Or car accidents. Hello, vous jani plama. Or sickness. Hello, dolele. Disease. Hello, dofon. Or somebody hitting. Hello, amede ike adanwa fui. Some things. Nada. Always kill somebody. Kwe uname. Nigeria says something must kill a man. Nigeria talk lo nabe nado koko koko kwe uname. That thing that will kill the man. Numa ike awa mama. It's the opportunity Satan have searched. They have sat down. Satan and his colleagues sat down. Satan and the plan. Say, what can we use? To kill this person. And they make the plan. Until they find something. I said, may Satan not find the occasion against you in Jesus. Satan a make a bomb on the top of the titre and see you the yes super come. Satan was searching for the opportunity. Satan on the top of the team. 
but he find none. Suddenly, Zidekala, he decide. Oh, so let us provoke David. Bena, minamiable David. So that he can number the Israelites. Alebe watema hle Israel view. Because Satan have already knew. Alebe Satan anyavo ho ho. That David did not study. Bena, David masronu. On the principles of counting the people, numbering the people. Kude a sekre do do ikene kude tu kwa hle hle nsiyo. So he want to use that weakness. That endurance. And that is what the Bible said the king order commandment was in hurry, in haste. There was no time for anybody to come and ask questions. Even Mr. Job, Joab, the captain of the host, he was trying to convince the king. He said, This thing is not good. But the king prevailed. The Bible La version avait dit la fêtière. Because Satan was searching for an occasion. Satan Each time Satan is searching for opportunity. He will enter somebody's mind with an idea. With visions. With revelations. With suggestions. With desire. Or with provocations. Satan is searching for an occasion. Satan to do something. Wives. Wife. Or husband. There are times. In the house. La Pia if you see your wife or your husband the way he is behaving. Children, you see your parents the way they are behaving. You see, ah, what is happening? This man don't behave like this. This woman don't do like this. So what is happening? Take notes. Satan is searching for an opportunity to do something. He is searching for occasion to attack something to destroy something. And that is why that person is agitated. Provoke. Angry. Talking anyhow. Satan is searching for an opportunity Satan to destroy things. Sometimes, mighty rain with the, all the breeze, the wind, and while that breeze and wind is making noise, you see this bike we pass here, this vehicle we pass here, before you know what is happening, blow, blow, a heavy accident. And that rain may not even fall. Just seek for an occasion. To hit somebody. I say I pray for you. Any occasion. That Satan is searching for. Satan to destroy you. May the Lord disappoint him. Somebody has said, May God disappoint him. In the name of Jesus. Satan will not catch you. Satan He will fail. In Jesus' name. Sit down and listen to be careful. That is why. We need to be vigilant and careful. It is not every 
every issue you respond to. It is not every provocation you want to respond to. And it is not every question you answer. Especially if you design. If you design. Satan is seeking for an opportunity to do something. Satan is seeking for an opportunity. Satan is seeking for opportunities. Satan is seeking for Destroy people. To kill people. To fight. To fight. Seek for privileges. Provocations. Sometimes some people annoyance. Anger is beyond what you could explain. Sometimes what, why this man so angry this morning like this? Satan is looking for something to do. Satan Just keep yourself. Hold yourself. Let the cue say that. Pack enter. Aye. Onti that air. Blow, I want to hear amen. I say I want to hear amen. So marriages shouldn't have broken if they knew what I'm saying this morning. Some people don't have died, lost their life if they knew what I'm saying. Always design when Satan is looking for occasion to do something. So Satan seek for the occasion. Satan He found it. He provoked David. David. And David number the people. David Verse two says, and David said to Joah. Go and number the people quickly. And Joab said, My Lord, why? That verse 3 is important. Let me explain verse 3. Job said, Why? My Lord, why? If the people are many, it is for you. So why do you want to number them? Everybody look at me, please. If somebody is sleeping by yourself, wake him up, please. One of the reasons why David counting the people at this time was a sin. Knowing the number of the people. Anya du kwafe kreklemea. Give you confidence. Enana ame kakadezi. That yes. Bena eh. I have enough. Amola signe subon. Even the war come. Na vaka vahan. I can face them. Eh, matem te geda vama akban kwafa. And at that point. Eh, yele do vama. Your confidence. Wo kakade do kyoji. Your trust. Is no more on God. But on the numbers you have. Let me give you another illustration. If you have 20 million in your account. That is, you just have 20 million in your account. Not that you borrow it. Not that you borrow it. Not that you have any project for it. You just have that money there. Your speech will change. Your reasoning will change. Your sleep too will change. Why? You have faith on something. Say no problem. Even though sickness comes. 
I can go to India. Mate India ni kwanji. To go and treat. Ai kwanji le fu. I can go to America or Europe. Mate America ni kwanji ya Europa. At that time, le yemaya. Your faith. Kosewa. Your trust. Kakade tiwa. It's no more on God. Me kale ma utio. But on that money. Vole ga madi. Who understand what I'm saying? Me kese no ikam bula gome. Are you sure? Ukaroja. Ukaroja ma. Are you sure you understand? That was Jaguar. Okay. Have you ever experienced it? <laughs> Number two. Avelia. <laughs> Listen to me carefully. Doctor Omnire. The reason why the Israelites have to go and gather manna every morning. Nui teta Israel vio enhiabena ndisi andi wai aida fufu manna. Every morning. Nudisi ya nudi. God have the power to give them the manna of the whole week. Nui teta le mausi bana watem ana o kosida katafu manna nkekedeka. But he said every morning they should go and gather. So that they are faith. They are confidence. We continue to be on God. They are hoping. They are expecting. Tomorrow morning. And, to go go for and God will give me. So they have faith on God. But by the time they got to the land of the promised land, and they have abundance, they don't need to depend on manna again. They forgot God. There are blessings that God gives some of you now. You can't come to church again. I know what I'm saying. There are people here watching or listening to me. There are kind of blessings. Prosperity. Power. If God gives you now. You can't wake up this morning inside this tree and come to church. Because you don't need God. Hallelujah. Amen. So David counting the people or numbering the people. David The temptation. The tendency is. He will not build his faith. On the people he had, the numbers of soldiers. Amen. You know when you don't have money. You know how to believe God. Am I right? When you don't have money to go to hospital. You know how to believe God. For healing. For protection. I. Am, am I saying the truth? Each time I don't have money in my account, eh? Papa, we yes, I need gamel. Gadra, look for me, you are. Mano Razo, so che 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 che. He used to walk slowly. I walk, I walk small. Hey, you mane ya jimo lo. I'm not looking for any problem. Don't cause me any problem, oh. You're the kakwe man. Am I the only one? Oh, now cha. Does it used to happen because to you? you don't have money. You don't want trouble. You 